The Snow Queen is probably my most unaltered retelling. Other than the Victoriana elements to her dress, the setting is quite classic. Inadvertently, mirrors became an essential part of my stories, following through each of my photo shoots. Mirrors feature frequently in many fairy tales and magical stories, but is particularly pertinent to the original Snow Queen tale by Hans Christian Andersen. There is a wonderful line where he describes her as an almost mythical being of folklore who brings the winter. That was when I started to think about the Snow Queen's mirror as a magical doorway. That was how she brings the winter. That, of course, meant taking a giant mirror to the woods. A mirror big enough that I could, in theory, walk through. I then had to create the illusion of snow spilling out of the mirror. This effect was created by using a white sheet arranged on the ground and the surrounding area dusted with flour. The shoot took place at a local paintball centre, so they didn't mind us making a mess, although we did sweep up the worst of the flour and leaves into bin bags once we'd finished. I chose an area that had a cluster of silver birches with their beautiful white bark. The gown consists of a cotton blouse, corset and skirt inspired by Victorian lobster cage bustles, although I have coined the term pagoda bustle, which sounds much more elegant, I feel. I used taffeta and faux dupion in a striking icy turquoise. The trimming consists of scalloped cotton lace fringing and snowflake garlands which I cut up and hand stitched in place with additional sequins for extra sparkle. The corset also features plastic snowflake motifs that conceal LEDs. These were butchered from a frozen themed advent calendar. If you look carefully you can see the channels used for the wires. We also use smoke bombs to add to the ethereal setting. I've never used them before, and only had two, so we had to make them count, which is why you see us run off screen at the end of the time lapse, chasing the smoke. The shoot took place at dawn on a beautiful cold and frosty Valentine's Day. Weirdly, it did actually snow later on. Maybe the Snow Queen really was watching. At the end of summer, as the long days start to fade, the Snow Queen emerges from her icy kingdom. Deep in the greenwood, the frosty air seeps through the magical gateway, spreading fervour day by day. Often at midnight she flies through the streets and breathes with her frosty breath upon the windows. Then the ice freezes on the panes into wonderful forms that look like flowers and castles. Then, as the sun grows in strength and the greenwood begins to bloom again, the Snow Queen retreats back through her frozen mirror, taking the winter with her.